Is it good to go? <laughs> so Paul, tell us why we're here. So I'm getting married. <laughs> So I've actually created three dresses for Anna. <laughs> and it's been a bit of a tricky thing because, you know, traditionally the groom's not meant to see the bride in her dress. When I work with clients, I'm so much about creating a mood and a feeling, but because I know her so well, it's almost harder because how do you put everything into one dress? I got blood on the dress. It's meant to be good luck, actually. So I think that's why we've gone with three completely different looks and me able to capture three completely different moments and parts of her. And also things that I love doing. It's a dress that's going to be so important to me as well. So using techniques, fabrics and embroideries that I'm really passionate about. How, how do you pick just one? <laughs> so. Talk us through the three dresses. Dress number one is, of course, going to be the most memorable for people. It's the wedding gown. There is about 20 metres of French Chantilly lace. The overall look, it's grand, but I think still romantic and light at the same time. Dress number two is probably my favourite, which is what she's going to wear when we do our first dance. Each layer of skirt as it goes down is a different shade of pink. So when she spins or walks, you just see this swish of pink coming through the hem. The third dress is all crystal. It's super sleek. I think that's Anna's favourite. She's going to put this gown on at about 10 o'clock at night. All the lights that hit those crystals are just going to sparkle. If you were to describe Paul in three words, how would you describe him? Fun. Big kid and a pain in the ass. <laughs>so she taught me to sew originally she wasn't like a professional thing so she just was her passion when i cook and uh, polo he said to me nonna you cook very well my mother no cook like you too long <laughs> One of the big things that I wanted with Anna's dress was to have everyone's hands on it. So everyone, even retired staff, have come in to help sew this dress and that's been a really wonderful, heartwarming thing for me. Yeah, that looks bad. Three honest words to describe Paul. I would say kind, funny and fussy. Can we see this rippling? Do you want to undo it? No. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe we should. It is fast approaching and there's a lot to do. Apart from hers, it's also the bridesmaids, our mums, flower girls. Everyone that works here is making their own gown as well. We hope that it's finished tonight. If it's not, pull us to finish the rest tomorrow. The whole experience has been a lot of fun and there's been a lot of love and a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and we feel very, very lucky and very grateful. We worked out the bottom of the hem is more than six foot distance.
I think in creating Anna's gowns and really all of them, I just wanted to create something that was one beautiful but a representation of who we are.